What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 Champions AI only battle. Still plenty going on. Um, lots of wars all around the map. Where was yeah, Vietnam close to falling. It's getting pretty scary for anyone rooting for Vietnam. Russia isn't doing anything right now. But there is obviously that big coalition against Egypt. It's sort of lost its legs a bit now. I don't know what Russia is doing. They just ignored this city altogether. I think, are these, yeah, these guys are all peaceful at the moment. Argentina are just wandering around. But they did settle this coastal city. I think I missed that, but they've got that now. Cargo ships beginning to play more of a factor. That will obviously dictate who has more money. And obviously, eventually we're going to see some better boats as well, which will play a big part. But let's focus on this for now. Here we go, the Iroquois, oh, they're edging in closer. Not looking good for Vietnam, although they still have Hanoi. It's not going to be enough to win them, it, you imagine, at this point. It would, I mean, if they turn this around and won, it would be pretty impressive anyway. So, I, I'm feeling a four-horse race. Texas are like a dark horse at best right now. Actually, to be fair, I say that Argentina have four cities, Texas have five. Okay, maybe that I should give Texas some more credit. It's just they're spread out. But yeah, it definitely feels like Russia, Egypt, and the Iroquois are in control of this one. At least at the moment, although Russia do not have many units at all. At least at home. And even the ones they are using aren't really doing very much. I mean, Egypt lost a lot, but they're still doing better than most. So I'm not going to count them out just yet. Oh, the Great Wall looks a lot better now. <laughs> before those new cities. Obviously it doesn't matter. Where it is, they need to get a melee unit in, and they're actually out of melee units, so maybe Vietnam will live another day. Oh, okay, well that, if anyone else needed to join the coalition, there you go. Not that the Iroquois will play a big part, but there you go, they're involved now too. And Croatia, just making sure everyone's in. Yeah, I don't think we will... See either of them having a major impact. Maybe Croatia could play a part also. Oh, I didn't see that. Persia grabbing this city off Rhodesia. Are Persia on the comeback trail? That'd be impressive. Also, Russia are going after Rhodesia too. Maybe they're just ignoring Egypt now. Although, no, they're still over here. But maybe if Russia take this, that'll be a good step forward for them. They've slowed down quite a bit. Oh, why is this not going away? There we go. <clears throat> Let's see. So Vietnam, so yeah, there's no melee, and the Iroquois don't seem to be too interested. They've put in all this effort, and they're just like, no, you know what, we're fine. We'll give up now. But yeah, the the uh, the so-called overpowered mods have struggled in this one. So Vietnam, Rhodesia, and Croatia. None of them have found it easy. Although the over, some of the really you know usual strong civs aren't doing too great either. The Zulu. Without that space they normally have in South Africa on a TSL map. Also, I thought I'd let you know since I've planned it for the next AI only battle, because this one's probably going to be a short one, like five, six, seven episodes, probably like something like that. Hoping, I say hoping, it's going to be a world map 60 Civ game. It might be a bit less because I can't like figure out. I'm trying to balance it still. Probably going to be 56 or something like that. But it will be teams, TSL, world map, and there will be two civs per team. Post the last time where we did like 10 civs per team, and it just was a mess. So hopefully that works. It's something you seem interested in. And that's what's going to be next, basically. Okay, Vietnam, pretty safe. How are Ru okay, Russia's about to take this. Should be this turn, I think. Maybe next turn, at least. Yep, there we go. Russia and Rhodesia is the first Civ to die. I don't want to forget somebody. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I think so. Don't think I've forgotten anybody. Did someone? Was there someone else up here? No. Egypt and Persia came back. 
gosh, yeah, no, Vietnam, did the Iroquois kill someone off entirely? No, yeah, okay, so that's the first sieve to drop. Good job, I don't think anyone voted for them. Uh, at least they won't win a third time, that would have been annoying. Russia starting to settle a bit more, oh, industrial era for Argentina, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, we'll look at the info addicts at turn 200, so probably in a minute or two, a few minutes, or maybe the start of the next one. Oh, there we go. Wait, what? Oh, Vietnam, making a comeback. If they grab these two, who knows? Anything could happen. Maybe the fall of the Iroquois. Especially if they declare war on Argentina and it went wrong. Although, looks like they're going through. Probably going towards Egypt, because the AI thinks that's a great idea. Russia with the Globe Theatre. Nice wonder to grab. And Argentina with a Fizi. Oh, and it looks like Thebes might now be under threat. Mali and Texas sort of regrouped. And yeah, this could be it for my pick. Damn it. Once again, I have failed to pick a winner. That sucks. How are they doing this? That is three wonders in two turns. So they must have built one in each of these three cities. That's pretty impressive from Argentina. They have massive border growth as well. Like, look at this from Buenos Aires. It's only turn 187. That's very impressive. Like, dang. They're just not slowing down. We'll see how impressive they are when we check the info addicts. But here we go. Thebes about to fall. Uh, Iroquois once are now going off to this city again. Even though they could have had this one if they just been smart about it, but no, they'll go back for the one population. Ah, oh, we missed the good thing. Oh, but it was Mali who stole it away, not Texas. That's pretty big for Mali. We now have six cities, and maybe an opportunity, because obviously there's no one behind them. Just end of the map. Opposed to Texas, who are sort of surrounded from all sides. Argentina are here to help out, so Egypt, it may get worse yet for Egypt whose capital is now the former Persian capital. How the um, tables have turned there. And Persia are actually recovering. They're not quite on the same level as Egypt, but you never know. At this rate, they probably will be level at one point in the future. Pretty messed up. Russia is just so empty. They need more units. Well, they do have... They have a fair amount of units. I guess they're just so spread out. Try to embargo Mali. Of all the people to embargo, <laughs> go for one of the smaller sieves. That makes so much sense. Egypt into the industrial era. By contrast, the Zulu only just going into the Renaissance era. Not that they care. I think they'd probably keep their impies into like the Mid, uh, into like a million years if they could uh, hang on what do I do here <laughs> um, um, oh this is what I do isn't it I'm trying to remember what I do when things go wrong I need to find the the least likely to win religion six Confucianism there we go We'll make that the vote for world religion. I also need to make sure Egypt. Egypt actually has two votes. That would possibly pass. I'm sure everyone will vote no. I've got to propose things. That's, I, I don't have a choice. No choice is there. Oh, okay. Now the Iroquois. Maybe a bit of a flick of the switch in their brain. When they lost that city, they're like, nope, let's finish this. And they actually have Galeuses now, which will provide support from the sea. Pretty useful, yeah, into the yellow. Is there anything else? Any other cities being sieged? There's an effort over here, but it's a bit... Egypt could probably hold them now. It's probably the end of that one. I love how I was worried about Rhodesia having so much space, and they died first. <laughs> Tragic for them. Yeah, I was going to ban pearls, but I just saw Russia just grab it, so there's no... Cause it's the only resource of... Per oh no, there is some more over there. Never mind. The Iroquois peace out with Egypt and complete Red Fort. And are about to grab a city. Uh, although, no, all their melee units are dead again. 
they're not planning this too well. They're they're really okay. Croatia, what the heck did you just do? Croatia pieced out. That is also big, but Croatia pieced out with Egypt and gave them this city, which I assume Texas will take at some point. And now Russia and Croatia. I don't know what Croatia are going to bring, but Russia also going after Vietnam. Peace out with Egypt as well. This is going to make things a little tougher for Vietnam. Oh, the, okay, the Iroquois had a Lancer, but Vietnam did just enough and killed it. Wow, they're clinging on. Yes, now they've got a new threat marching on their capital. Argentina, now with the Leaning Tower of Pisa. They're looking very strong here. I wouldn't count them out, just because they're being quite quiet about what they're doing. Definitely still win this. Texas now pieces out with Egypt and didn't take the city back. And it's turn 200, so let's have a finish this episode with an info addict look. Oh, okay, never mind. I didn't even see that coming. Argentina took that very quickly off Egypt. Okay. That is an interesting. It doesn't normally look like this. Weird. I guess it goes early in the game, maybe. But there's just not so many lines. Population. Russia's leading the way with the Zulu in last. This is nice how we just got 10. It's, you know, normally there's like 40 sieves, and I can only highlight some of them. Russia leading the way, then Argentina, Texas, Egypt, Iroquois. Nice. Crop yield. Russia again leading the way. The Iroquois, Egypt, Texas, Argentina. All up there. Manufactured goods. The Iroquois leading the way. Then Argentina, Russia, Texas, Mali. Uh, how about land? The Iroquois. Just I thought that would have been Argentina. But I guess not. The Iroquois do have a lot. Russia, Argentina, Texas, Mali. Fair enough. Military manpower. Argentina leading the way. Then Russia. The Iroquois. Texas. The Zulu. Social policies. I told you. Argentina. Six ahead. Everyone else pretty similar. Happiness. No one's in the negatives. The Iroquois nearly are. Technologies. Argentina leading the way. The Iroquois. Three behind. But Russia's up there. As is Egypt. And Texas. Net gold. They're not making much gold per turn. Any of them. It's probably because they're all at war with each other and not trading. Cities, the Iroquois have 13. Doesn't look like they do. That's 3, 6, 9. Okay, maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> Russia with 9. Mali then with 6. A lot lower. 5s. Down to Croatia with 1. Science output. Egypt still leading the way, despite losing their capital. So maybe they still have a chance. Russia second, Iroquois third, Mali still doing pretty well, fourth, Texas fifth. Culture wise, yeah, Argentina over twice as much as the Iroquois. Wonders, probably the same, yep, 13, 4, 4, 4. Treasury, not matter too much. Total faith, faith gain, Mali leading the way. Somehow Texas have more. No one's influential. Few great works, again, it's Argentina leading. Trade routes, sixes down to ones, leading for the Iroquois and Argentina. Tourism, Argentina leading again. If this was a big battle, Argentina would be doing very well with, you know, the chances of an info addict win. But because we're just going to sort of play until there's like one winner, it's not really going to play into it as much. But it's still pretty useful. They'll be getting lots of social policies, a really strong ideology too. And they'll probably be able to dictate the ideology of the world with their tourism. Mali declared one Vietnam, and so did Texas, okay. And Persia, okay, this is just Egypt all over again. Never mind. Uh, Vietnam, oh, the Iroquois pieced out. Russia are now going after them. And Argentina are now joining in. Well, if this caravel was a bit quicker, they would have had a chance, but I think it's a bit late now. <coughs> And these mountains are causing Russia some issues, so maybe they're safe for now. Texas only just going into the industrial era. Let's see, no, not too effective. Although trying to steal the city away may actually be a smart idea. Like while it's still pretty low, that actually may be smart. Although the Lancer just died. They are very good at defending Vietnam. Got to hand it to them. Very strong defense. Okay, yeah, but now their capital's in trouble. That's not good. 
That is not good for them. That should probably fall pretty soon. What the heck is this doing that takes so long? <laughs> I don't know. But that is going to be it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.